ok good to go we are going to continue with the lecture. Um, we just finished giving you the homogeneous transform for the cyclopean I. One thing I would like to add at this point is the um the pair of transformations that will make it stereo. So, that I can give you right and left eyes. So, if you want to do that we get T let us say left eye which is equal to let me make an identity matrix first it is not a very good identity matrix let us see there. and then put T i here All right. So, I guess left eye is equal to T i if I do this transformation because this is just the identity. So, I just want to do a little fix. So, basically um, the horizontal direction from the coordinate system we set up is the x direction correct. So, I just want to take the x part here this is the x translation part and I want to put some shift in there I will call it T over 2 where T Well, let us see here. It is going to be the inter i distance in the virtual world. So, T is the inter i distance in the world. And um, if you are curious about the real world, the T. Um, average value in the world I, I mean in the real world in this case right like on the earth right, among humans not among the um the monkeys running around on your campus, but among the humans um is um equal to uh, 0 0.064 uh meters or 64 millimeters. So, that is just an average there is quite a bit of variation from person to person and this is a, a nice example of um when you define the world it is good to use whatever system of units you use in your daily life. So, if you are using the metric system here it is nice to set that all up. So, that your units in the world are meters. So, that then when you perform this shift here this makes appropriate sense because we are still using the coordinates of the world here for the eye. We have not done any strange distortions or rescalings yet right these are all rigid body transformations. So, it is ok to use meter coordinates and for the left eye I do this transformation. So, is that does this need to be I guess one question I need to ask here does this need to be minus or plus let me think. So, let me think about this. So, I start off with a cyclopean view and then I want to figure out what the perspective should be for my left eye. So, if I all of a sudden move my eye to the left that means I should be shifting the world to the right which means that I am adding to the x coordinates. So, that is what I get that so, very easy to mess this up in 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 fact in one of the very first oculus demos we were working on the the right and left eyes were swapped and everybody in the company thought it was fine for for a while it it was very difficult you had to eventually look you had to eventually look around the edge of a, some corner. So, that your left eye can not see beyond the corner and your right eye can and you realize hey something is not right here and you have to learn to open one eye and close the other and try to resolve these things that gets into the perception parts again. So, your 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 brain cannot necessarily distinguish when you make some of these mistakes. So, that is T left eye and for uh, T right eye it is just the other way we just use the other sign. We just put minus T over 2 here and then fill in the oops sorry it is 1 we fill in the rest of the identity matrix. put T i here. So, in that chain of transformations I gave you if you want to go from cyclopean eye to um, binocular vision having left and right eyes then you just replace T i with T right eye and T left eye and that will give you two different paths to go down for the rest of the chain uh, to fix everything. You can try to do some hacks at the end where you just shift it all the way down in the pixel coordinates, but um you may make mistakes 
So it might look ok in some cases it may cause errors in others that are perceptible. So, this is the right way to fix it um even though it might not be the most efficient way to fix it it is correct and so there are other ways it may be more efficient, but they are hacks and they may make mistakes. Uh, we can talk about some of those kinds of things later in the in the course questions about this yes. The angle. Oh, I see. So, um, well, this is going to be okay. Th this is still this is still changing. Just the viewing. Um, I'm 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 still I'm still I see what you mean. So you want to, if they're both fixated on a single point in space, right? Then you're right. There will be some vergence, and that's something separate that we're going to cover. We're not going to, um, we're not going to present images to the eyes based exactly on. Um, which way they are oriented with respect to your head because we are not doing eye tracking. If we additionally add eye tracking then we would have to also consider the individual rotations of the eyes as they converge and our brains are considering that certainly in the in, in the real world and they are taking that part into account. But if we are just going to render onto a display it will be an assumption that the that the center views of the eyes are in fact the same. So, the eyes are in fact looking off at infinity at something infinitely far away and we are not taking the vergence into account. Well, this is a very good question though yeah it is interesting. So, we are neglecting that part and it is ok here, but in some other system where you are taking eye tracking into account and you are presenting to the eyes exactly what the eyes are looking at considering their rotation um this is called foveated rendering for example. It is more expensive to do that now and and less clear how to solve all the engineering challenges, but it can be done and if that is done then you would have to take that extra transformation into account. Other questions?